Hello and welcome to the show, Conversations. My name is Elizabeth and one thing I do very well is to try to have a plan because I know that it is often said that if you do not have a plan for anything, you've actually planned to fail. But at the end of each time I make my plan, I'm not even sure I succeed. And that's because perhaps I didn't do certain things right. I am not alone in this. At the beginning of each year, I'm sure this year too, some people did it. We set goals. We do what we call New Year resolutions this year. It's a new year. It's a new me. And uh, you don't get to, perhaps the only thing you get to change is your clothes. Perhaps your hair to hairstyle too. Whether you get to achieve the new you, how you set up for it. It's um, a matter for another day. All of us here, I'm sure we are guilty one way or the other. I am very, very guilty because every year I tell myself, okay, I'm going to share 10 kg this year. I end up adding maybe another 5 kg rather than shedding 10 kg. My name is Elizabeth, like I said, and Joy is laughing because, Joy, what was your New Year resolution last year? And <laughs> Guess did you? What? Um, well, I don't think I had <clears throat> because anytime I, I always say a New Year resolution, it never works. Especially with weight, so I've given up. <laughs> <laughs> my name okay. is John Parachi. Good morning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, my name is Deva Hamatian, mom. And no, no New Year's resolution. I'm with Okanachi on this one. <laughs> once I voice it, once she I voice walks. it, I'm going to do the opposite. So oh. I don't bother. Oh. I, don't, I just, I have certain things in my mind that I'm hoping to achieve this year. But you don't For instance, to... new look. look. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Like She's squatting baby girl hair. <laughs> <laughs> I want to join wig gang. You know, okay. I want to. So okay. this is the first step in that direction. I've taken my dreadlocks wow. off. No regrets. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so, well, so this is one step in the new direction. A new look. <laughs> but then, uh, of course, I also have plans for this year that I don't want to voice so that I don't no, wind up yes. doing the opposite. I don't want to jinx it. I'm sure all coaches have resolution. <laughs> Do we really have resolutions, I think? Well, it's so good to see everybody. It's a beautiful year, I said. Uh, and do I have a new resolution? No. But I see, I see things. I just sort of wake up in the year and I just see. Like, and I see that there's evolving. I'm evolving this year. I'm listening better. Oh, and yeah, so I already started by... When you say something, as opposed to just either shutting it, because I'm not sure you that I'm shutting it off, but I, I actually listen and I act. So I've started to look, evolve this year. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. so when you say listen better, it also means that um, you're probably talking less. Too. You're listening more <laughs> and talking less. <laughs> uh, hello, good morning. Uh, well, I have a goal. I think I've had a goal for some time now. And I actually teach goal setting, so most people have goals without a plan, which is simply a wish, and that's why nothing happens. And then what we usually talk about is the reason why you want to achieve that goal. When your why is strong enough, you will work to achieve it. Okay. And My name is Maimuna Umi Abdullah, aka Coach Didi, and good morning again. <laughs> She's my neighbor, so I need to watch her. <laughs> it's okay. You know, I've been very quiet. You know, being in the midst of women wow. is very quiet. I'm um, my name is Chuku. Anybody oh, can Hanga. anybody intimidate you? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm seeing coach the first time, so I need to be here. <laughs> so I don't bring out my bad legs. So people should not allow me to bring out my bad legs. And I haven't seen the band for a long time. So it's a good time. Seeing her new look, she's looking so interesting. So it's wonderful having her around. My name is Chuku Mahaka. Yes, I'm shifting. I'm, you know, it's like this set of people here but actually said goals. This set of people don't set goals. <laughs> no, I didn't say I don't properly. set goals. Right? No, 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 no. We have, goals, I was yes. kidding. What I'm saying that um, I have um, resolutions and yeah. um, it helps me, put me on the line, gives me a direction on where I want to go. And I, I always do self-appraisal. I do quarterly appraisal, monthly appraisal. Um, it helps me to check. And in most cases, I share with my children so that when I'm deviating, they will also will discuss it casually and everybody will reset themselves wow. and okay. it helps, oh, that's it helps. It. all right that's a good one a good do you one. want to share one goal you set this year because we want to follow you up by november <laughs> we'll come back to ask that's a good one um yeah. one of the goals i set this year um is um on business oh, trust i <sighs> i had to have a restructure of the business plan i used to do and when I, 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 like I said, I came back and I 
summoned everybody, we gathered together. So I had to, first of all, share with the business owner, the CEO of the house, my wife. And she was a bit on the contrary with my view. And I said, okay, let's get our witnesses. I brought me some and can see. So eventually I tabled it, I shared the views and um, everyone started. And it looked like the whole people, the whole two, my two children are lining with me and my wife didn't want to agree with them. So I just gave them sign, let's allow mommy digest this. <laughs> And um, eventually she got back to us. And I was glad yesterday night, even when we were discussing it, she said it was a good thing that we decided to Fantastic. go this path we are Fantastic. going. And it's given everyone peace of mind. Most important thing is one of the most important goals I have this year is that it mustn't be all about business. It has to be self. Mm. We have to look at ourselves. Because I noticed that all the past years we've been doing most of business, not having time for ourselves. So we have branch here, have branch here, I want to create another branch, do another thing. But in all of this, you're weighing down, you're not looking at yourself, you're not resting, you're not, you're yeah. busy pursuing money. And you've not allowed money to work for you. So this time I said, okay, we have to cool down. We have to balance the equation. So are you going on holiday? Yeah. Yes, we are, oh. we are already at. So when you said you were looking at this coach, mm -hmm. I'm sure you, you sort of just sensed what my, my I'm a coach is all about. I'm, exactly. I'm a spiritual man. <laughs> so because when I say that, um, I see, you know, so I see what I do is, um, like Coach Chidi talked about goal setting, what I do more is uh, visualizing. So where do I see myself at the end of this year? I'm supposed to tell you myself, this is what I'm going to do this year. So when I see myself in a certain space, I sort of walk in it, you know. So when you were saying this, and with my, with my timeout technique, what we do is we reflect where we're coming from, how far so far, where to, and then we visualize where we're going to, where, what can we see, and then create. So those are the three things that you have talked about just now. Where were we? Where are we going to go? What do we see? Where do we see ourselves? And how can we build and make it work? And you did all of that a, in a few know, minutes just now. You know, um, you just talked about timeouts. I know that last year you had, um, you know, an event where you tried to help us, you know, rediscover ourselves. It was actually what we used to uh, get a bit of feature that we're going to play now. Uh, as usual, I have beautiful team, Faith, Ada, and Ehi, and Glory, and they always do a good job. Let's see what you package out of that. Procrastination and lack of plans are said to be the highway to failure. Procrastination and zero plans have been confirmed as the parents of failure. But does knowing this aid in avoiding it? It's a clear no. How then do we begin to overcome this procrastination virus? The key tool is knowing you and discovering you, your capacities, your strengths, and gradually using them to tear down your weaknesses. Little wonder, time out with Coach Tokumbo Giwa Amo, well known as Coach Tobes, constantly organizes interactive workshops to help people rediscover themselves. Recently, her time out with Coach focused on finding you in you for greater productivity. Interestingly, some of the key exercises deployed we're having conversations with total strangers, dancing and writing out in clear terms our hidden fears that cause obstruction towards our success. She stressed that one can only attain success if one understood one's own abilities. It starts by knowing who you are. Amazingly, self-discovery often happens when we are engaged in little everyday activities that can relieve stress and open doors for joy and fulfillment. Now, how often do we engage in these exercises? And who can partake of it? Let's join the studio for answers. Uh, director, why are you on me now? The studio, see, she's here. They say answer. So is it our answer? Is not me. <laughs> so who can partake of it? Who can be part of this oh, program? Gosh. Everybody. Everybody. I was telling my children on our, on our way here this morning that uh, I want to organize something for children to, to do the whole visualizing thing, like where do they see themselves, and take the time out to realize that it's more to, of course, going to school, yeah. you know? So there's more to life than that. Of course, mm -hmm. I mean, now school is getting better anyway. 
It's not just education. It's a lot it's, more than they do. Yeah. So yeah. there's a balance in it all. So you must, everybody from, I don't want to say um, three or five, but just grow and then move in that line. So 40, 80, wake up. Sure. They say when you wake up, now your morning. Yeah. 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 Well, you're never too late. You're never too late. What Coach Still is trying to do, she's trying to break stereotype. Okay. When you break stereotype, you've achieved what you want to get. Because what we've grown up to find ourselves that we grow up in an environment where people give us an impression it has to be this way, that way, that way. You know, last week when we were discussing with the Honorable Minister, we talked about the school system and how the new introduction of um, the curriculum would affect and change the system. Um, when we succeed in breaking stereotype, we are living. Because mm. what kept or what keeps yeah, yeah. keeping us where we are is stereotype, as it was in the beginning. So shall it be till the end. Um, I want my children to be doctors. I want my. Yes. I keep asking myself. In fact, one of the days, it was last week. I I spoke to a couple of friends, last year rather, when they did the law week, and I asked them why were people being disturbed and oppressed because of lawyers, whereas these days you come out, you see people who didn't even study law, who are doing so well. So why was it that mm -hmm. in school then everybody's oppressed because the law week, um, medical week, and it looked like if you are not going to be a doctor or a lawyer, yeah, you will never yeah. amount to anything in life. Today, you see how it is. I'm not mm -hmm. speaking down on them. Yeah. They are wonderful and excellent people. We but need them. It means that those days, um, I would have been a good actor. <laughs> My family didn't allow me because then nobody was, nobody was. I would have been the the face of That's nobody. Elliot. But yes, they asked me. They asked me. Adam, Adam I, was, I was asked, I was asked uh, who, what do you want to do with that? You understand? And today, look at actors everywhere. So it's important that we understand that. I don't want to digress from our actors who have money. Please, let's. Eh? I, I would, actors I would, who have money. I, think, I would well, actually. Every 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 career has people who are successful yeah. and those yeah. who are not successful. True, so True. it's a balanced environment. Okay. okay. Now uh, our topic is it says roadmap to success, and the whole idea is for people like me who do not uh, quite understand how to get to the destination, you know, finishing line when we set goals. It's easy to say, like I started saying in the beginning, I want to share 10 kg. Some people will tell you by the end of today, I want to be able to get, by the end of the year, I want to be able to get a certain training. It could be tailoring, it could be whatever it is. I have uh, lots of people here who are, you know, motivational people from Joy to Devon, who has gone to study management and- uh, No, well, yeah. not management per se. Uh, I went to become a professional sure. trainer, a certified trainer. trainer. Yeah. Yeah. In management, management and coach everything. Too. That's coaching. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, just want to collect certificates and become a coach. Training, training. 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 Yeah. Yeah. training. Yeah. is coaching. Uh -huh. yeah. It's so, different from So that's why I, 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 took, I took that time yeah. to, yeah. to assemble all of you so that you can guide us, you know, quite in a very simple, modern way for people like us to understand. When I have set that goal on January 1st, what's the next thing to do? I want the coach to yeah. answer okay. this question. Okay, I would say, like, for example, when Joy said she's given up, and you, or you just said you set a goal and then you do nothing. When I talk about goal setting in my classes, the WAP workshop, we bring the link between your mindset and your goal. That's the link. Mm -hmm. Most people are here, yeah. they want to come here. Their mindset is what keeps them here. Now, if we keep, there's this popular saying, nothing changes if nothing changes. Yeah. And whatever you're not changing, you are choosing. Because when it's really, really important. Don't confuse me. Yes. Okay. How do I, let me break it down. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're not changing. Mm -hmm. If you are sitting on this chair mm -hmm. and you're uncomfortable, let's say there was a pin on the sofa and you sat on it and you felt the pain and you remained on that chair, mm -hmm. which means you can endure the pain. It's as simple as that. Okay. Because if you put your hand on, on a candlelight, it burns it, oh, ouch, mm -hmm. immediately because it hurt. Mm -hmm. So if you are sitting somewhere in your life, if there is a weight you want to reduce, if there is a job you want to get, is a skill you want to acquire, and you are not doing anything about it because you don't really, really want it. Yes, you would like to have it, yeah. but you're not really crazy about it. So when you're sitting on a pen and it's hurting, you're bleeding, and you keep looking at the blind and go, out, 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 and you're still sitting, it's because mm -hmm. you're not ready. And your threshold for pain is probably higher than mine. Mm -hmm. Because perhaps if I sat yeah. on that same chair, I would run and jump. run away from there. <laughs> 
True. So whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. And that has a lot to do with your mindset, how you think, how you see the world. And now that's also governed, sorry, let me, that's also governed by three things. The way you are brought up. There are some yeah, things maybe yeah. in your whole life, your values, most of your family, your beliefs, yeah, your values, okay. your beliefs, the way you see the world, that's, that uh, plays a role. There may be traumatic exp- in mm. events that have happened to you. They shape the way you think. Mm. Which they shape the way you handle things in your life. That's why you can do something. The same event can happen to both of us. How I handle it is different. How you mm-hmm. handle it is different. True. How you are able to get out of a problem and be resilient is mm-hmm. different from mine because my mindset and my upbringing. My environment and traumatic experience that I've had is different from yours. And that plays a huge role in goal setting and planning. In fact, as a writer to what Coach just said about mindset, Mm -hmm. I stumbled upon this very short story. I don't know if it's anecdotal or if it's real. Of identical twins. And one wound up at the pinnacle of the legal system. it's, It's supposedly a U.S. story. One wound up at the pinnacle of the justice system, very successful, you know, in his career, you know, excellent reputation, everything was making good money, had a solid foundation, solid home, everything. And his identical twin brother was in jail. Now, they found it interesting and they were like, what happened? These people are identical twins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, identical twins tend to be opposites, you know, kind of, but they grew up in the same home with the same parents, they weren't really exposed to different circumstances per se. What happened mm-hmm. to get such very different results? Mm-hmm. And according to the story, when the study was carried out and both were interviewed, they had the same answer. Can't you see the kind of parents I had? Mm. What does that mean? I don't yes, understand. But it depends on what each of them... The mindset. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the yes. meaning they, they gave what the parents. What they yes. picked from their parents. They both had the positive same kind of parents. Positive yes. and, and yeah. negative. Grew up in yeah. the same okay. home. Mm-hmm. One rose to be extremely mm-hmm. successful. Mm-hmm. The other person ended Decided. up in jail. Mm-hmm. And both of them were like, can't you see the kinds of parents I had? Didn't you see mm-hmm. the kind of parents I had? So that's the mindset. Well, so whatever it was, yeah. let's, mm-hmm. let's assume that the parents were extremely abusive. Mm-hmm. One person to decided use yeah. to use it on the position. Yeah. To use yeah. it yeah. to build. To like, build if you go and read the, upon stories of some of the most successful people in the world, yeah. Elon Musk, his father yeah. is practically a monster. Michael Jackson, yes. uh, yeah. Oprah Winfrey's right. mother, didn't yeah. want to have anything yeah. to do with her because mm-hmm. of her very dark skin and all of this. They rose up from the ashes of okay. very traumatic experiences okay. to be worldwide that. figures. Yeah. Yeah. Now, these two people, identical twins, grew up in the same home. And one person blamed the parents for being in jail. And the other, and the other person mm-hmm. said, well, it's because of my parents that I'm who I am today. So, so it's your a, mindset it's, it's, uh, it still goes back plays to a big role. perception. Yeah. Exactly. The meaning you give. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So so what, you what are you doing with the circumstances you found yourself yeah. in? Right. You get a glass, a glass of water, it's yeah. halfway. So is, is it half full half or is it half empty? empty? It's no, important. it's the same thing. Absolutely. It's about you and how you are internalizing the experience around you. You know this thing you just said? Um, on a Sunday, I, I watched a, a sermon. I actually put it on my status. It was quite interesting. Why do I say that? It's everyday living for a woman. And then the pastor said something, and he said, um, what you did in 2023, don't do it in 2024. Mm. And what was it? Stop cooking. Stop cooking. <laughs> Stop cooking. I have not finished. I will get to where I'm going. Let, let's hear how. Stop cooking. Stop being desperate. Mm. Uh, 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 all that. Stop it. The ones that have not cooked, they married them. Oh, I watched mm. I watched the sermon and I was nodding yeah. my head and throughout. Said, the ones that have you not didn't, You didn't you provide didn't. context. You were talking about young girls that are looking to so, marry. Not young girls. Uh, or okay, women. Uh, women uh, that are looking uh, to marry. Married, you know? <laughs> so, and, so, so you see, and there were so many things because I had friends. When they saw it on my status, they were calling me. They're still single. Yeah. With all the cooking and the washing yeah. and the pounding of yam. That's so what, I'm, what am I saying? What I'm saying is that you have to do things differently. To get a different result. If it's mm-hmm. going to happen, it's going to happen. If you've done this over and over again and it hasn't worked, you check yourself yeah. and say, no, let me do it this other way and let me see if it will work. A okay. hug from here. Okay, <laughs> okay. 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 so, so I want you to hug. look at, okay. while you're t- talking, could you look at the um, perspective of setting realistic goals? Exactly. You, know? you, you 
just said yeah. did, as if you do what I wanted yeah. to say. Okay. Um, that's what I call copy and paste. Mm. A lot of people do copy and paste that's because true. Joy has said this goal. I want to set this goal. True. When people are not able to achieve goals because the strength of Joy might not be the strength for exactly. their brand. Yeah. Yeah. And Joy's environment and exposures are not the same with. So when you want to set your goal, first and foremost, you need to start from your area of strength. Yeah, true. Then you understand your weakness. Yeah, true. Then if you know what you can do, set real. You don't just start yeah. and say you want to achieve. Let's say from the business point of view, you want to you want yes, to save up yeah. hundred million, <laughs> and you know that your capacity <laughs> to <laughs> save yes. is about ten thousand or twenty thousand, mm. and because you're You've gone to a church or you've been to a place where motivational speaker has told you. You just go in and write in 100 million before the end of 2024. And you look at yourself. Between March and June, all you've been able to save is 5,000 naira. When you look at that, you said, you know the work. You give up. Now, it is consistency that gives birth to whatever you want to do. You need to understand the roadmap where you are going. You need to understand how you want to achieve that. Then you begin to take it step by step. Um, when I decided, because I, you know, I usually personalize my thing. When I decided to review our business model, what first I did was I looked at where we are coming from, what has been the challenges, what are the major challenges, what have this, what are the impacts of these challenges to us as humans, and what is it? How has it affected our health? How has it affected our relationship as a family? Before I came up with that goal. Now, if you want to set a realistic goal, you need to ask yourself, where are you coming mm -hmm. from? What do you intend to achieve? Then what is your environment? How is your environment going to affect positively or negatively what you want to achieve? Then if it is something you've never done before, don't jump. Yeah. Start gradually. Joy said she has given up on weight because she decided to give up on weight. <laughs> because she had decided to say, this is what I want to do. Yeah. Probably she had said you want to lose 10 kg. You can't just wake up and say you want to lose 10 kg when you love to eat food all the yeah. time. You can't wake up one day and tell um, someone that smokes and say, stop smoking immediately. You mm -hmm. can't say, my goal in 2024 is I want to stop smoking. Mm -hmm. Yes, you might achieve it at the end of the year, but if you just stop smoking, one day you find yourself smoking again. So if you want to stop smoking, if you used to do 10 sticks, you gradually Four reduce to it to even seven. Yeah, first then from seven to five, from five to three, from three to two, two to one, and yeah. you are out of it. Yeah. So you must set a goal that is measurable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you able to measure what you do? That's and also watch. to achieve, achieve, in order to achieve that goal, you need to have people you who are your people that who can help you review yes, what you are doing. It's, it's, it has my notes. Why do you have my notes? Yeah, and, and I was about to say something. I have your notes. You know, I, you have I, notes? I, I told them a spiritual man. Why do you have my notes? <laughs> I told them a spiritual man. I'm going to check you out. <laughs> I'm going to check. I, I agree with what you're saying, but there's a part you said something about simply you 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 mean you can't do it because somebody else is doing it. I I, I don't believe that. Yes, you can. No, you may not be able to do it. Has somebody else done it before? As some as long as somebody else has done it. But guess what? You see that there's a problem in Nigeria that I've 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 um I've noticed. Because this person doubled into this business, yeah, everybody so does it. Copy and paste. But guess what? It's not a Nigerian phenomenon. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, uh, I, I, I'm talking about this environment mm -hmm. right now. And I notice that if you don't have a passion or a love for this thing, it will not work. It will not no, work. As as well as you, other you know, you yes. know what it I say in work, yeah. technique? Yeah. Yeah. I say be yeah, you not as good, but it will full. work. Yeah. So be yourself. Yeah. To the fullest that you can be. Then don't copy somebody else. That's what I'm saying. That's what I agree with you. You can so, so you can do what it is. Because we're both life coaches. Because you see, you know what, do, okay, you, see, do you, you see? Do you? Okay, let me tell you. Let me use an example of you don't know people. You want to do a particular business that pertains knowing people. You know, like when you want to do clothes, you want to do hair. Because I, I had a friend who had money and somebody did um, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, a, a spa. The first thing I looked at her, you, you don't you don't have the look. You have all the because <laughs> if I want to go to somebody who has a spa, what's the key? I will look at you. Yeah. Because the, the spa I go to now, she was dark skinned. Because I noticed that all the owners of spa are okay. light skinned. So what endeared me to her was her colour. Because I said, okay, if she can walk on her body this way and her face, and she's dark skin. then we all started going there. So the thing here now is, what am I saying? I'm saying that because you have money, you want to double into a business, and you don't know the, um, the rigors of 
of how the thing is done. Most of the time, it won't work. Guess what? They shut down the, the spot. Let, let me explain no, to you no, what no, I was trying to say. Let me finish up. What I was trying to say, when, yeah. when you come into coaching, there's something yeah. called the grow model. Mm -hmm. Okay. The goal, what yeah. you want to achieve, yes. your current realities. Okay. What do you have? Yeah. Where what you do now? you need? Yeah. Okay. If I want, for example, you, you want to open a spa. You don't have any business sense or you don't mm -hmm. know how to run a spa. You, you go and get someone get who has done it. Exactly. You have now your so, options. Yes. What are the options, options. you have? Do you okay. start with that one million naira, two million? And then you, you're also, also you have the will and determination. Okay. Why I say this? Because you see, sometimes people listen mm -hmm. and they feel, okay, simply because it's not, it's just, it's not, it's not just like copy and paste. That's it. No. Yeah. Yes, okay. I can do whatever I put my mind to. to I may not do it as well as Joy. Mm -hmm. I may not do it as well as uh, Lizzie. Yes. But I'm going to do me. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you exactly. can do it. Yeah. But you have to go and get exactly. the people to get you there. Yes. Today I'm sitting on this set. Today I'm a coach because I had to go get people there who will show me road. road. Okay. That's and how be, it works. Be open to learning. Okay. We're talking about uh, learning something. Um, and Kojidi and I sat for one day after uh, that some people I, I were... Don't, don't really. yeah. <laughs> I was very angry. Sorry. You we know, had okay. breakfast. Oh, 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 oh. We, had, we had a show here. <laughs> They left, they left, they left you. Me. The they were now right sending me now. pictures. No, but you had work. They, they were you always me. have work. I always the... have time. You always have work. Yes. I always have yes. time. Yes. So yes. I <laughs> I it was a coaches thing. It was a, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was coaching thing. I, I coach my children. And from there, <laughs> from there, I've gone and I've done a, an NLP program that she Fantastic. told me about. Yeah. So how willing are you to learn? Yeah. You know, like in coaching, you say, how willing are you to move? Yeah. So what I was going to say about what he was talking about, and, and so basically the SWOT model. Yes, SWOT analysis yes, SWOT. Uh, talks about your strengths, your weaknesses, yes. opportunities, opportunities or options. options. Yeah. Yes. And then That's I say in my timeout technique, I, I changed my um, threats to thanks. Because I say you already know your weaknesses. Yeah. Sometimes don't. we don't. Sorry? Sometimes we Sometimes don't. Sometimes you don't, we yes. Pretend. But for me, I, I change it to <laughs> thanks. Because I, you, know, you know where you are. You do, if I concentrate on the threats again after knowing my weaknesses, I probably will not move. So say thank you for something. First mm -hmm. of all. And then another thing I wanted to talk about was um, some C's I always work with. When you want to do something, how will you need to change? Mm -hmm. How will you need to commit to it? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. how will you to, how can consistent. you stay consistent? Consistent. Yes. I mean, there are other C's. C's. But the first mm -hmm. three, the few three things C's. that change, do you really want to? Exactly. <laughs> how will you, on a scale of one to ten, where do you want to go? Some people will be on a two. Yeah. But some people will be on an eight. What can I do? What, can I, what has to happen for you to move on to the next? Just to the next space. Which, you know? which brings me to this thing, procrastination. Mm. Procrastination is a huge <laughs> stumbling... Mother of failures. Yes, yeah. yes. It's a huge stumbling block in the path of where you are and where you want to get to. Now, there are many people who assume that procrastination is laziness. It is not laziness. Laziness is, laziness is an aspect of procrastination, but laziness does not cause procrastination. People procrastinate, procrastinate for a number of reasons. One, anxiety, raw anxiety, oh, fear, perfectionism, um, sometimes some willingness. Include laziness too. Include laziness too. No, I already <laughs> said it's an aspect. That was the first thing I said. That was the first thing I said. Yeah. But in, it doesn't begin and end with laziness. No, 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 it's all these other no, things. No, no, no. Overthinking, Overthinking and thinking, all of this. Too much so, yes, table. you want to do something, but... And then, bizarrely enough, it's been found that people who are mediocre or downright dull are more likely going to... They have that get up and go more than the so-called intelligent people because the intelligent person knows well, it, that they have limitations. I, I they know that ah, this person passed me, the other one passed me. I have to brush myself up and everything. But go and check the typical 419 guy. He doesn't know anything. He's ignorant. He was just able to he bamboozle people here and there and tell them a few lies and pack the money and go. And while well, he's using... Yes. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it's so. Well, while he's there, you, <laughs> you, know, you know, while he's there, you know, telling the people the half and half he doesn't know and yeah, convincing yeah, them with yeah. all lies and everything. You, the much that you do know that you actually have a degree in and a master's in, you're aware that but you don't know this one. No? So if by the time you start, if somebody challenges you and you cannot answer this question, you are here overthinking the whole thing. Then you have not taken one step. Whereas the other person who knows barely a fraction 
of what you know has already put himself together out of sheer desperation. Mm -hmm. I have to pay my rent this year somehow. Mm -hmm. The children's school fees must have <laughs> put something together, <laughs> sharp, 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 and just sold something to people and packed their money and run away. Mm -hmm. And you are here overthinking things. Yeah. You are, nah, okay, okay, you've done it, but it's not good enough. You must add this one. And the truth is, I have a little bit of that tinge of perfectionism. I've gotten to that place where I buy a piece of artwork and I want, I really feel as if, if I add a, you know, a bit of blue here oh, wow. <laughs> and maybe a bit of gold here to look better. And I'm like, stop, stop, this like, shit is like, wrong. So, but the thing is, in my own, in, in my own case, I've found that when I do procrastinate, it comes from a place of overthinking things and trying to make sure that I get it perfect the very first time out. And it tends to hold you back. And then if you're okay, for me, why? Um, why, do you need, why do you feel the need well, to Well, work? okay, you know, for me, um, I, this um, last year, I, I, maybe, you know, sometimes you just sit down in your quiet moments and you write some stuff. And a friend of mine asked me a question. Um, don't you think about getting married? You know? And I said, no, I don't think about it. If it happens, it happens. Because I noticed that many people tend to think about marriage and, and they're, they, they're stagnant. Yeah. They never move. Mm -hmm. And she asked me, okay, what, do I, what is it that I want? You know what I told her? I said, for one, mm -hmm. I'm with you because you're better than me. I like to hang around people that are better than me. Because I look up to them. Mm -hmm. Because I notice that most of my friends like to go around with people who are below. So that everybody is looking at them. So the first things I do, I look at people, I study them, and I like to hang around people who are very intelligent. Mm -hmm. So that I learn from them. And she asked me a question. I said, I want to stop doing government contracts. Mm -hmm. Because it's killing people. Because they're not paying. So what do I want to do? I want to do something that gives me money. Somebody says she doesn't say no. I, see, you know, you see, like, you know what? I, I'm just being I, I honest. She did not yeah. say I'm going to do this. Yeah, in yes, I'm going to do. Yeah. You know, you know it was something general. that was discussed. No, it was something that was discussed last year into 2024. Okay, and I woke up this year, and the dollar is crazy. Yeah. So guess what? What do I now do? And I said, okay, I will take every day as it comes. Because that's the way to work. You've started to mm -hmm. conquer. Sorry, can I, can I come in? Like you've started, you, what you've just done is yeah. you, you've decided to conquer your world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you decide to take every day as it comes, mm -hmm. you don't put yourself under any pressure. pressure. Yeah. Now, when you stop putting yourself under pressure, pressure. you'll begin to see yes. your success. And you're living in the moment. Yes, yes. yes. you begin to see your success. Yeah. Most people are under pressure, pressure. Are, are, are where they are because they put themselves so self-afflicted pressure. pressure. Yeah. When you see that um, Devan has cut her hair, She's looking all of us. Because she's looking so young. Now, you know I am saying, young. I was saying about copy and paste. Yes. No, you could copy the good thing you've seen in people. You don't just jump in because Devon cut her hair and yeah. you see because she's looking good. You, you want to you cut want her to hair. do it. She has her motive that had made her. Most times, people pick ideas from people yeah. and run without knowing the motive. motive. When yeah. you want to copy, what I tell people is this in business, I tell people there are four ways to learn business. The first one is the Igbo one. This is the apprenticeship. Mm -hmm. yes. And that is the... It, well, is, it may take a that's longer literally time. literally the best. It may take a longer time, but you understand it. Yes. The second one is the one we go to business schools to learn. Then you learn the pattern in business school. And the third one is, which I think is a bit of expensive, is when you look, um, um, you look for a mentor, mentorship pattern. Maybe I love... You're, you're into fashion, and I love to do fashion. Or I have had some people I brought to Elizabeth this day for her to mentor them so into yeah. broadcasting and everything. Yes. Then when they take the techniques from Elizabeth, they will now begin to apply. Whenever they have issues, they come back to Elizabeth. Yes. The fourth one is the most expensive one. Mm -hmm. Try it with your money. Hey. You, lose, you come back. That's kind of expensive. And most people, that's what they find themselves so, in. They make up their mind and they say they want to go into business. Mm -hmm. They don't want to consider going to people read books that are related to what they want to do because they have funds they pull it in there if i may right. come in having suffered this <laughs> it's not even no seriously it's not even a, it's not even a matter of arrogance i'm too big to go and ask question no it's like ah 
Is it not this thing? It's so easy. Mm. <laughs> Supermarket <Everybody> has done it. <laughs> it's not, not the supermarket. Yeah. You just yeah. 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 buy the things. Yes. You put there. You put the mm-hmm. person. You pay the person. It's like, like that. Then lo and behold, you start and you discover that okay, you need to buy like three deep freezers, mm. a heavy duty generator. Mm. You need mm. to have an AC. Did, 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 and then you didn't factor those things. And I'm just giving an example. Yeah. That, that wasn't what I did, but I've had at least I had to get my fingers burnt about three times mm. to realize that. Babe, ju- just it come back, eh? Yeah. Go and stick with that one. That thing we didn't teach you for school. Mm-hmm. You, think where, <laughs> you think where you get working experience inside? <laughs> you understand? No, you know, the things that you already know how to do. <laughs> because I wanted to have a side gig. It wasn't like I wasn't working. I was working. Yeah, but it's always nice to have yeah, a few yeah. extra pennies yeah. on the side. side gig around the things yeah. that your family yeah. 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 That's yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why That's why you don't have to do your side gig around. You can learn something new. Yeah. 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 This, this one was a question of, ah, is it not this one? Yeah. You yeah. just buy this thing, then you call that person, you come and manage it, then you'll be giving you returns. Yes. It didn't work. Okay, so I still want to ask questions in regards to the topic. Now, we've all talked about goals and realistic goals, non-realistic goals, how to go about setting it. I will still use myself as the guinea pig. I've set my goals for the year and I want to take off. For instance, my goal could be to, uh, you know, acquire a training in sewing uh, skills. You know, skills. Yeah. What's my next step? Now, meanwhile, I already have a job. Like Devon said, is something else is something I want to do on the side. Very How different. do I go about ensuring that I acquire the skills at the same time, you know, satisfy the, the, the earning the earnings of my work and my family? I, I, I spoke to a, 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 a category of teachers sometime in Enugu, and when I came, all of them were all complaining. I want to do side hustle, there is no money, there is no time. The first question I asked them, what time do you close? They said they close by two. Then I gave them a narrative. You're looking for a side hustle. They said, yes. I said, please, can someone help me buy a grow? They said, to buy a grow, you need you to, to go. I said, that's an opportunity. If any one of you had a grow here, wouldn't you patronize? They said they will patronize. And if someone is selling a grow and another person is selling mama, another person is Correct. selling drinks, wouldn't you people patronize? They said, yes. I said, you are sitting on an opportunity and you're <laughs> exactly. complaining. Yes, what time do you close your work? You know, most times we think yeah, we that 24 do. hours should be expanded or extended so that we can have time mm-hmm. to do things. When you structure what you want to do, when you find value on that sewing skill you want to learn, you create time for it. Yeah. Everything you place value on, you, you make time you out make for time it. Yes. You see people, they spend time going to church. That's where their value is. Mm-hmm. Some spend time going to do gossip. That's where their value is. <laughs> Some spend time going to the lounge. That's where they found value. Now, if you close work and someone says, let's go hang out, and you know you want to learn your skill, your sewing skill, you will find you you your values. Yes, yes, yes. They call it opportunity cost yes, in economics. Yeah, yeah. You set your priorities right. Then you put up the right thing and make out the right time and go for it. And it wouldn't stop you from hanging out. Draw your map, draw your program, that your skill you want to go and learn, put time and value in it. you see yourself attending to it. Are you okay. to say something? Yeah, I think simply I would just tell you, if you want to learn a skill, Check your schedule. You already work. What time do you have? Like he said, mm-hmm. so find time you can get to learn that skill. Who do you know? Who are the people who can give you this service? Mm. Google somebody or ask a friend. Okay, who are the people that do, do fashion business in Abuja? Mm. How good are they? Enroll for one. Use your extra time uh, weekends to learn more and do better. And eventually, you are actually creating something you can retire to. It's pretty simple. Guess what? Guess what? I, sorry, guess what I want to sorry, do. Sorry, sorry. If okay. you have opportunity to save up, mm. buy a machine. And whatever you learn from your teacher, you come, come yeah, back come home back and makes practice. you better. That's how it works. What, what, what do I want to do? I want to learn how to make up because it's, 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 it's too expensive. Tell me about it's it. It's too expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. Every time I bring out 15,000 to buy that I know I'm going to get So the money is something. After four hours, I feel that pain. So you know the thing that... Yes. 15,000 to do that? Yes. No, it's not even... Your own is 15,000. a lot more. No, sweetie. Yes. And the girl is considerate. No, because the thing now is that the girl that makes me up has started flying a private jet. So she told me during the new year that... um everything has increased. Oh, fine, true, because of the dollar and all that. And I said, but, uh, but most of the product you use is Tara. It's a Nigerian product. She said, Tara that one too. Uh, no, that's it. So you know what? I decided that, okay, this year, in my very quiet time, I will learn. 
YouTube is your good. YouTube is your good teacher. Yeah. No, it's not YouTube. You see, you know they work for it me. It starts with the product. I am an old see, I'm not. I'm an it old school person. I'm not into YouTube. Let me go and let me go where they Follow are Follow. because YouTube. Because I've tried. What, one thing I've tried from YouTube. I tried to fix mascara. It didn't work. <laughs> So, so it won't so work for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Babi, what's in the nah, color? Eyelash, uh, eyelash. eyelash. <laughs> you know the eyelash. So, <laughs> so talking work, about eyelashes, you know? right? So my yeah, daughter. So that's my it. daughter just started yeah. doing this thing, yeah. right? Because so for me, when we're talking about um, learning something, you yes. said you wanted something. Set your mind. Write it down. Talk about writing. Dream about what you want. Dream about it. See the finishing write line. it down. Yeah. Write it down. And then move. You should dream. So my daughter dreamt. Okay. She probably didn't dream. But she, she came up with the idea. I want to learn to do eyelashes. Yes. And so eyelashes. it's a form of business. Yeah. And she's looked for. Yeah. Where can I go learn how to do That's this? That's it. That's and then you go yeah. and you actually learn and to practice. do this. And, practice. and then and you practice. start to practice. Oh, yeah. my friend, come today free. My sister, dummy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Put your eyes yeah. there. Grandma, somebody, uh, definitely not your mommy because I'm not going to put my face down. <laughs> I'm not doing yeah, lashes. I'm passing a message. <laughs> no, I don't do no lashes. <laughs> but then, so what was it? Consistency. She went back yeah. to school. And she started a business. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Stick to I'm it. I'm going to learn it. Okay, so okay. give it a name. I'm going to, give it yeah. a name. Another thing I was going to okay. add to everything we've said now yeah. is who's, what's your accountability? Who's your accountability partner? Partner. Uh, who's your important. accountability partner? Uh, so all these things are. So you said this. I said it before uh, you, you got in my notes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, that's always the final yeah. line. Who's your so, what, what does that mean? So this actually means who knows about what you're doing. Yes, okay. just like Who's your going wife. Who's to tell you? You and your wife. And yeah. it doesn't have to be your. It can even be an enemy. It can be an enemy. No, it can be an enemy. Are you the one who does my name? No, 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 no. Tell us an example. Yeah. No, so that it can say. Shabi, you said you were going to do that thing. How far have you gone now? Or somebody else can say, my dear. Have you started? Yes. How is it going? When are you going to start? When are you going to start? Like weight loss. With my daughter, I ask her all the time. <laughs> only half an hour. How, they, how many more customers do you have? Yeah. I hope you're putting the money well. Though. Yes. You know? So, like your mom, someone like me, I probably don't put the money well. I just. So, this year. <laughs> I said, Actually, let me tell you one of the things I decided to do yesterday. Right? My, my sister in law mm. told me, she said, Tooks, your business money is your business money. Yes. So, this year, business money, stay where you are. Yes. You know, talking about business money, I want to, I want to say something about tricks. I went to his um, place. Yes. And I thought I was visiting my friend. Yeah. Nice supermarket. <laughs> not give you nothing. I bought uh, something. He was looking at me. I paid. You had to pay. I'm still holding it against you. <laughs> you got <cannot. laughs> Business is business. I'm still holding it Business is business. And when I told him, he said, yes. business is business. Yes. yes. How can you be an evil lady and not have business sense? <laughs> 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 after, after, yeah, I tell you how. Okay, I could just share it here. Um, the easiest way to put up business money is in every income that has come, come in. in. There are things I call, there is seed money, there is savings money. money. Now, mm. seed money is the one you reinvest. Mm. Savings money is the one you might put aside for the future or something you want to achieve for yourself. Mm. Now, every couple that comes into my account, I take out the seed money and the reinvestable money the, 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 and the savings money. If you don't have a habit of saving, no matter how little, no matter how big it comes, the first thing my boss taught me was he said, if you can't save when you have 10 naira, you, mm. you will never be able to save when you have 1 million. Savings is a, is, 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 is a habit, not, um, savings is a habit, not because of the amount of money you earn. Mm. So when you, this year, if you want to save money, Every common money that comes in shares it into share it into percentages. Right. This percentage will go into this account. This percentage will go into the account. No matter what happens, you must not touch that money. As you begin to remove that money, every every time it comes in, at the end of the day, you see yourself having money. And it's always wow. beautiful wow. that you run into something, all of a sudden, you look behind, you have this huge amount of money. You don't remember you had, mm. and you, you helps yourself a lot. Okay, Thank questions you. are coming Thank in you. here. Let's quickly take some of them before we run out of time. Good morning, or I really enjoy the program. My question now is: If you have what to do and have no capital, I what do you know do? No, they going to go there. Uh, treasure from Bwari. Sorry, I, I, you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's not about sorry. I've, I've heard, I've heard more, it. more questions. Are you let's, 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 let's just no, take I'll, a I'll tell you how you can raise uh, capital. Good morning, everyone. Do we have a fixed amount one used to start up a business? And those who fail in business, can they change business? And why mm -hmm. do they fail? 
is a chair from River State. Okay, okay now um, I'll start from the capital thing. <laughs> Most times people think that the first problem to business is capital. Mm -hmm. I've shared it on this platform many times. The first problem to money uh, business mm -hmm. is not capital. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. what? Yeah. The, yeah. It's your plan. The idea. It's the idea. It's you. Do you that have idea. the idea? Exactly. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll tell you Everything this. will come back. I had made money from another person's business because he had the idea and I had the selling skill. Yeah. I don't know if you get it. Mm -hmm. And I was looking for capital. I'll give you... It's, it's a simple story. It was... You know about my bread story now. There was a particular bread in the East, then Genesis bread. They were not in the southeast. They were not in Owere, rather. They were in the Enugu and not Potakot. They were not in Owere. All I needed to do was give me your bread. Let me distribute for you in Owere. And at that time, I didn't have money. I shared my idea with my wife, who had only 27,000, and she believed in it. And we started. I didn't wait for me to begin to buy plenty. I started small. Yeah, exactly. Most times you see people with ideas. Uh, my small of Blessed Mary said that the best brands and ideas are in the grave. Mm -hmm. People who want, who want to be, I have to have 100% ownership of my business. Mm -hmm. When you have an idea, first, try, try your idea. Sell it amongst your friends first. Because you might think yeah. that your idea is wonderful. <laughs> if you're not able to buy, <laughs> if somebody's not able to Forget buy your idea it, within your environment, uh, go back and check, check that your idea. Yes. Check yourself. What you, you think yourself. might be worth marketing, what you think might be worth someone investing, mm. might mean nothing. Because yeah. until you pitch your idea to an investor, and the investor says, okay, it's worth trying, you've not started. Yeah. So she was your first investor? Yes, yes, she was. <laughs> and I pitched my idea and it worked, and she gave it to seven k Today wow. she has bakery. Wow. So wow. she wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, so another person says, yeah, good morning. Thank you for the conversation this morning. I've been procrastinating a lot. Um, I learned a, a skill which is in social media marketing and implementing has been a problem. I love learning, but my problem always is implementing or practicing it. How will you help me? How are from Kuche? I think uh, I'll let uh, you were the one that talked about procrastination. Yeah, procrastination. And you also have uh, had your share of experience. I you have had my share of experiences. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, anything you learn and you don't start using immediately, mm -hmm. you're going to lose. Immediately. You're going to lose. It's like planting a seed and not watering it. So the minute <coughs> as you are learning, be doing. Whatever you learn, do. Whatever you learn, do. Don't be too worried about getting it fantastic mm -hmm. right out the door. You won't. Most people that are as good as they are got there over a period of time. You are seeing the end product. You're not seeing the journey mm -hmm. of getting to that place. So don't, you, right now that you are starting, you want to compare yourself to people who have been doing it for three, four years. You will, you know, demotivate yourself. So start small, just as Chuk said. Start small. Start immediately implementing what you've already learned. You can maybe help out one or two people that you're exactly. really close to for free yes. because you are you trying out your yes. yeah. 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 it, it doesn't have to be. You can reach out to people. Yeah. Hello, yes. I just learned yes. this and I'll do offer exactly. you for free. For free. Yes. If you are happy with what yes. I've given, the value, please you tell, tell yourself. Tell other exactly. people. And, and then from, from there, for free, the person yeah. might start paying you. Yes. And, yes. and apart from that, as you are doing, because it's an opportunity for you to practice what you've learned. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. As you are doing it, That's you are learning more because the easiest one of the fastest ways of honing your skills is by doing mm. whatever you are practicing you begin to see what the pitfalls are the mistakes yeah. are you know you also learn as you are doing beyond what you've already been taught so this person that Hawa needs to hit the ground running with what yeah. what, what she already knows offer her services for free to one or two people and not overthink how perfect it will be yes. okay, let, me, so let me let me let me um let me chip in um there's you know you know um years back when you do birthday parties, um, um, uh, people just come and sing and all that. So now they started using saxophone, mm. the violinist and all that. So um, there's this a young young guy and he just says, Auntie, I can see that um, you have followers and you, you're always partying. Please, can you help me, you know, tell people about me and all that. And you know, in Nigeria, violinists, nobody mm. thinks oh, yes, violinist. yeah, yes, a, yeah. Mm. And you know, the thing here was that, the first gig I invited him, I said he should come free. Mm. And guess what? Now he's one of the best in Abuja. Oh. So like you said, sometimes do those sacrifices, do it free. Mm -hmm. you know, and um, you see, and, and things happen uh, for you. 
Chirella that uh, wrote in from Lagos, she wanted to know, I don't know if Chirella is male or female anyway, but he wanted to know why businesses set up and they fail. Ah. I think my own simple question, answer to that is, if your foundation is wrong, you will never be able to get why? up properly. What is your why? You know, what's important. your foundation for that business and what's your motivation for that business? Are you setting up because you want to just make money mm -hmm. because another person is making it? I think that generally people should do what you have always said. Do you what you like. i give you an instance. I started making a, you know, recycling arts, so to speak. I was doing it for fun. At a point, I found out that I had so many things done and all of them were in the house doing nothing. I wasn't even public, you know, making public what I was doing. I was just having fun, you know. I tried to do these. All these bottles here, I actually did them. Every decoration here, I actually did them myself. So what I did was I started giving these things out because I needed to create space, you know, to make more. So the more I gave out, the more people were like, where did you buy this? And they liked it. Before you knew, some pe persons will actually ask me to make for them for a fee. Yeah. And when they asked me, I didn't know how to do business calculations. And you so, invite me. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did, I did was, you know, check what did I spend on uh -huh. this a bit. And then maybe I could add 100, 200 Save on top it. of it. I said, it go like it's very cheap. I said, yes, I'm learning. And it, it goes on like that. I don't see any week I don't do artwork for people. Mm -hmm. Even today, I'm going to give something to somebody. So the Side thing gig. is, uh, yeah, that's, those are the things. <laughs> it's something so I do, you know, just relax. It's a form of relaxation for me. And you love doing it. And I love doing it, you know. Uh, it, making clothes and all of those yeah. things. It, it's fun. I, I try to see, okay, can I do this? Can I do that? just for the fun of it. So yeah. if your business is built on, okay, I want to make money, no, 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 no. It may not work. That's me thinking. There's I something mean, Chooks was saying, and we just want to talk about it, and he was talking about, um, you have the idea, mm -hmm. you just want to do it, you need investors, things like that. So for me, I was going to put it in this way. Sometimes you have an idea, it might not be who you are. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, that's the truth. But you know who can do it for you. Exactly. I mean, you can have a president, a governor. That's where strategy that's, comes Exactly. In. The how. So you can have people Synergy. who are doing this for you. You can have a restaurant, you're not the one cooking. Yeah. You can have a good manager in that restaurant that will oversee what is going on there. Mm -hmm. Then you can have the real chefs. You need the waitresses. So you can talk about the spa you were talking about. Mm. Your face doesn't have to be the face mm -hmm. of the spa. Oh, my dear. So, yeah. I should see it on your no, 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 no. no. As they, for example, it doesn't have, that's the truth. See, see, you're uh, the owner of the spa. You, you can't you might not be, you might not, People might not even know you're well, you owner. Exactly, but you don't know you're Nigerian. We don't do business like no, that. You, no, no, no. I could tell you. You don't have to drop it. I tell you. I say you. In Nigeria, you don't do business like that. Can I come in? Can I come in? Yes. Um, Most of you here. Yes. We have visited my supermarket. Yes. Without we have patronized my supermarket. Yes. Without knowing. Without knowing yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, well. I took a decision. Yeah. That I will not be the face of the supermarket. That's don't worry. That's, 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 that's a supermarket. I'm going to show you. No, no, that's a supermarket. No, that's a supermarket. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I've never seen any fashion designer look good. Really? You walk into their shop, they have a tape around the no, neck my friend, they are wearing my friend, no my friends look good okay no, so my, let's let's Taylor is because she's Taylor is different strategy planning yes. all of these things come into everything in <laughs> what you want to do you don't have to do it yourself no you must uh, yeah there are okay, certain that's businesses you don't certain. have to do it yeah, yeah. but there are certain but, businesses but like you are the business you are the business but you can be Ah, you can own an airline. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And you don't know how to fly a plane. That's different. That's different. The first different. thing. Yes. The first thing yeah. that makes you a yeah. business owner yeah. yes. is when you are outside of the business. Yes, that's, that's business. It's different. All right, so I learned fashion design. Can you link me up with Joy Okwana? She is a godly. I love this program. You are talking about procrastination. What if... In a situation where someone is doing everything, trying all kinds of things, but still not working, what can I do from good luck? I mean, by us, I don't understand what you mean by you are doing all kinds of things and not working. Great yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, yes. good morning. My money. name is yes. Wisdom from Quara State. I had a very big shop in a good environment, but I don't uh, have a capital to start my building material works. Rent Please. your shop, make okay. money from there. Okay, partner with you. people. 
All right, so good morning. I'm Deborah from Bielsa. I have a problem on how to grow and maintain business. I need... A business uh, coach. Is it good to start business with loan? Ah, you can start business, business with loan, you will fail. All right, so I'll take this last idea. one. Good morning, Madam Presenter. It is really very educating. I have been taught, taking notes. Okay, good. How... However, a repeat of a program will be worth the while to Jani Mohammed from local Jacobi State. It's yes, always repeated. If yes. you watch us midnight, it will be repeated. And on Fridays, it is also repeated at 11.30 a.m. Also, and another word on this procrastination up. thing, because okay. somebody brought it up again. Again, procrastination. The minute the thought enters your mind, you have seven seconds. You have second, seven seconds to get up and do it immediately. If those seven seconds elapse, you are not going to do it. All right. No. Seven seconds is your timeout. And <laughs> our director says our timeout is out. Not with coach. No, you can't be our timeout with coach remains. But yes. for now, we say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Be you to the full, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>